Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw birthday cake in Adobe Illustrator. And it's not just like that, it's because of I have birthday uh, in a few days and because of my birthday i am going to make discount on my course commercial portfolio step up 37 percent and if you're interested then come to my course website and from january 17 to january 21 you can buy my course with discount 37 percent and now let's start to draw our birthday Cake. If you've watched my previous tutorial, then you know that I am creating videos on trends 2024 and one of the trends of 2024 is doodle style or I would say hand drawing style. Doodle style and hand drawn style it's like the same. Uh, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to create that birthday cake in doodle style. For example, you can use that uh, design for the bakery logotype and after use uh, the design, for example, like stickers with logotype uh, on your cake packaging. So guys, now let's start to draw birthday cake in Adobe Illustrator in doodle style. This is my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial and if you want to take a closer look at my design and to download an original vector file with colors in my design, you can do it on my Patreon page. So guys, my workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel. Now we need to open the photo of the cake file, place, select the photo, place, hold and drag, ok, make it a little bigger, you will find the photo below this tutorial, make it more bigger, don't forget to hold shift to save proportions. Ok, now let's lock the layer with the photo here. Now we need to um, take to open brush library, artistic, artistic calligraphic and artistic watercolors. Ok, at first artistic calligraphic, now we need to take that brush and we need to double click on brush tool and that option, ok, and take dark grey color in the stroke, brush tool and now let's start to draw. Your photo is like your sketch you just draw with help of photo. Your design uh, should look like hand-drawn, like you just sit on um, your place and just uh, draw with your hands, uh, just like in um, school, then you don't know what to do and just draw something on piece of paper, like that. But of course your design should uh, look stylish, it should look accurate. Let's look, you see how it uh, looks without the photo. Ok, now let's continue. For example, you will have the order from the bakery, they um, will send you photo of their cake 
and you need to create a logotype of the bakery with uh, the cake in doodle style and you can uh, make the logotype of bakery like that uh, the same with flowers uh, you just use flowers like your sketch if you can draw with your hands and you have good drawing skills you can create uh, some doodle sketches on the paper for example take a picture of your sketch and after that make like uh, i <clears throat> uh, make the photo uh, you can uh, use your own sketch to create doodle designs but if you can't draw like me i have pretty bad drawing skills uh, you can use photos okay or if your customer want to uh, see their cakes i don't know some uh, other things in doodle style you can make designs like you see now it's uh, pretty easy to make doodle designs when you have sketch on paper or then you have photos okay the cake is ready let's see okay uh, now we uh, can delete the photo and now let's uh, fix some details you can change the for example weight of uh, stroke you can move details you can fix uh, corners you can smooth them you can um, move all elements with for example direct section tool or curvature tool so as you like um, or you can stay it like this uh, the uh, you can um, stay design like that <clears throat> or you can add watercolors uh, like we are going to make it later in the tutorial now i'm going to fix a little details to move them to make it a little pretty okay uh, now let's add uh, watercolors to our design but at first i'm going to fix a little here that place to make it a little thinner I think it will be look more pretty uh, some more details let's smooth here and some fixes here okay and let's uh, select that point and move here and now let's select that point and move it here beyond the cake okay now let's add watercolors let's take that orange color or red color and uh, opacity multiply it's very very important let's select that color and brush tool and draw here the first line and the size 18 for the first brush watercolor brush you can use uh, my brushes here you can select your own uh, brush that uh, custom brushes in adobe illustrator 
uh, so you can use it in your designs it's uh, Adobe Illustrator brushes and it's totally free okay let's fix a little let's write the next line and the size will be 10 here okay now, now let's add shadows mm. let's again take brush tool and draw here the line the size will be free okay and let's move points don't forget that uh, for all uh, strokes here I'm using uh, opacity multiply with normal mode it will be a look bad but with multiply mode it look like watercolor and this next one here okay and now let's take other brush and the same multiply multiply mod like that it's okay that brush um, is beyond the cake it uh, looks uh, more uh, realistic okay and now let's take a brush one more time and add here the stroke the size one and add one more stroke here to add volume uh, okay and let's create next stroke here the size can be two so guys you need to play with watercolor brushes here as you like to make more interesting and realistic watercolor effect uh, it's my option so you can create your own options of your watercolor design of the cake so take other photo of the cake to create your own doodle cake uh, so <clears throat> make uh, your own design uh, and use your imagination and your design vision okay let's move on Here is important uh, their size of the stroke, uh, their color, their brushes. So play with brushes, play with stroke, play with colors to make your own unique doodle watercolor cake. For example, if you don't like some uh, brushes you use, you can always change the stroke, uh, play till you 
you'd like the result. like that. Now I'm going to add colors to watercolors to flowers. Now let's uh, take the same brush but white color. For example, let's draw here with white color. You see you don't see white lines. It's because of I have here multiply mode and we need to change uh, to normal. And after I can use white color. Okay, now let's take dark gray color and brush tool and draw uh, some design elements, for example, like that. And let's add uh, some white points with the same brush that the size 2 okay select group move here Object, expand, object, expand appearance. Uh, sorry, at first expand appearance, then expand. Now you can uh, make your design bigger or smaller and don't worry about strokes. Uh, now file, place, select the photo with paper, place, make like this send to back you will find the photo below this video and now let's create the square here change stroke to fill select the whole design and make clipping mask well guys our birthday cake is ready hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design and waiting for you on my course and don't forget that next tutorials will be on trends 2024